All right, so I guess I'll do like a really brief overview. Um, so really, this guide will be for anything ng plus two and above. So we're going to be looking for in the shop is a combination of either staff unstable casting or amulet of vengeance. And we're going to try to pair it with a good green item or two. So I usually like to roll for that first because there's chances that, or there's certain things that can happen that will change your uh, your setup. So, Amulet of Vengeance, Staff on Sable Casting, um, and then be able to craft our Staff of Auto Casting. So this looks pretty decent. Um, not super big on the Fancy Plume, but it will help us to kind of get some key items later in the game. So we'll probably roll with this gonna be a lot of crit off the bat and that's what's uh, so interesting about it. Um, so this is on the Battlements streamer patch. We're still rolling with 20 keys, 20 gold keys, 20 silver keys, 15 bronze keys and uh, I think we've only ran out one time. Or we, we didn't actually run out but we got down to zero silver keys one time in Battlements only. So we'll see if we need to start bringing more or not. Alright, we're uh, crafting our Staff of Auto Casting. It's going to bring our crit up to 37.9% and our skill crit at 400. So nothing crazy happened. We can roll with these items. Show you what drinks we're going to use. It's going to be the same that we use on live. Uh, so Crimson Death. Let's see. These are all shuffled around, so i got to find them. Incendiary Demise to help proc our Amulet of Vengeance. Wicked Sickness, we're going to combo build, so we want as much damage as possible when we're in combo. And it's really the only way to reach this level of damage. We're also going to take Starlet Singer for even more critical hit chance, and the last sin for even more critical damage with skills. So that's our five drinks. Uh, I guess I'll show the chapel. I believe it's full right side. Yeah, Path of the Magician, Blessing of Intellect, and Symbol of Focus. Uh, you can run the fountain in many different ways. I'm going to just do what I like for my characters and for the wizard. See if anything's really different. Uh, general traps, topple towers, safe corridors. I do these for every run. Um, we may try to work in an ace key, but we'll see kind of how many negatives we can put on and feel good about it. We always want monoliths, we always want glass walk, we always want treasure hunt. Um, there's just no other way to get additional items besides these two. And the monolith just helps a lot versus bosses, especially in the, for like the last boss, if you get the defender and you're going into Thunder Maul, you're going to have a, a way better time than if you don't get something like that. Same goes for damage and infinite mana on some of the uh, characters. So more enemies is always fine. We don't want more elite enemies though. We have uh, plenty of ore. We do our own ore runs, so we don't have to worry about ore at all this run. Uh, mini bosses are good uh, for XP and for increased item drops since elites have, or sorry, mini bosses have higher chance of dropping good items. Um, we can kind of decide if we want to go agile or not. It kind of depends on how much it's going to cost us. So we definitely want dry springs. Um, we really shouldn't have to rely on potions at all, especially at this NG. Uh, either things are going to one-shot us, or we're not going to have time to react to potions, or uh, it's only going to heal for a little bit and it's not actually going to matter. It's like, it would only save us one second and then we just instantly die from the next hit. So, um, really not looking at that. So the only thing we could mess around with would be the Agile. And I'm trying to think of what we'd maybe want. We could do Agile and add on like an ace key, do agile and add in, we can do more potion charges just to make it even more effective, but we really shouldn't be relying on them at all. We could do imps, try to get more items that way, get more keys. I'm trying to think of what we want here. 
It might be worth getting the ace key, because if we get two, uh, if we get two ace keys or two ace chest, it'd be kind of nice. I don't think we're really worried about agile. I'm trying to think. I guess we're worried against um, the act four rituals would be our, our biggest concern. So maybe we shouldn't even risk it. It's probably not worth an ace key. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we'll lock that in and we're ready to get started. Make sure it's on six and make sure we did everything. So shop, tavern, fountain, anvil, adjust your NG. So that's everything. Alright. Let's see. Um, so we're basically going to be collecting as much gold as possible in the early levels and hopefully that pays off in the later levels so we don't have to worry as much. Um, we do have Fancy Plume, so we'll probably need more gold than we usually do, because there should be more blue items. So we're really going to go out of our way to try to find everything. We're just going to make it kind of slow in the start, but that's okay. It's better to go slow than to like die prematurely. That's kind of how I see it, because we have to uh, spend all that mana, or not mana, we have to spend all that money anyway to reroll the shop, get more drinks, donate more to the fountain. It's just not really worth it. Um, a tip about Meteor, you only want to cast Meteor if you're in combo. If you cast it outside of combo, you will die. There's just, it, you may not die the first time, you may not die the first 10 times, but eventually it's going to kill you. It is probably the easiest way for us to die is to be locked down in place and yeah, just we get hit by a couple melee attacks and we're a goner. See, like that guy did a, uh, it was like a quarter of my health. So, if you're um, gonna use meteor against anything worth meteoring, <laughs> getting stuck is just you're gonna kill yourself. So, keep that in mind. It's a a nice flashy skill, but it is uh, it's kind of a bait as well. It will kill you. All right. Um, most of our solo builds, we go with ring of tea. Um, if you've been watching any of the guides on YouTube or anything like that that I put out, um, it's like six out of seven of the classes needed as a starting item for solo play. But this is the character that doesn't really need it. Um, you could also argue that Thief doesn't need it, but it just makes it a little easier. Uh, the reason that the wizard doesn't really need it is just because you only use mana on a uh, meteor. So, I'm not too worried. Okay. Let's see. Sugar Pips, what's up, man? Uh, you can also make use of corners and obstacles to open with Meteor outside of combo quite easily, if you know what you're doing. Oh, that's true. I guess it depends what uh, type of enemies I'm playing against. Hey, what are you up to? You were uh, quick to uh, tune in. First one here, I think. All right, let's see. We change a new camera angle. Um, we actually have ordered a new camera, so we'll have that in. Uh, it's supposed to be here tomorrow by 8 p.m. So thank you, Amazon. And depending on what kind of feedback I get about my mic, I will probably be upgrading that as well. Let's see, so playing some other games, waiting for the patch. Saw Dev say on the stream, Steam forums a few weeks ago. So I guess they're really working on changing things from people's testing. Yeah, there's been a lot of back and forth with the beta testing. Um, so like, I'm playing the streamer patch, but there's like a beta patch as well. So there's still beta testing, which means that's going to come to the, the stream eventually. And as long as they keep doing beta tests, they're still going to be more and more time. I think they've extended it. They're trying to push it out by the end of the month now. Uh, so in the next two weeks, where before it was like sometime this week. So I think it just wasn't ready. They weren't happy with uh, where it was at. Yeah, I was expecting fewer than weeks, but as long as it turns out good. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of that argument, like, it'll be ready when it's ready, right? But I, I get the impatience part of it. Like, I definitely want to 
have other people playing, get more insight on like builds and what people are doing, and maybe it'll shake up the meta a little bit. We can kind of see like what's new, what's out there, what crazy things people have thought of. So I think build diversity would be a uh, really nice. Um, yeah, seeing how this play it makes it harder. Yeah, I, I guess I have mixed feelings. Like I wanted to get into the beta stuff and actually be able to play the beta stuff as well. Um, I think this is probably the best for me just because I actually get to stream and like interact with people um, and they get to see it. But at the same time, it makes it awkward because everyone's going to ask, like, when's it coming out? And uh, it's like weeks away, you know? So it's a little awkward. Um, so we're going to get Gladiator's Net for sure. I'm trying to think of what else I want here. Mm, probably Amulet of Resistance and maybe the Aberrations. I'm more worried about Aberrations than anything else because I, I just want to be able to get through Act 4. Yeah, nothing else looks too amazing. So, we'll just get the defensive stuff. Yeah, and it was also kind of awkward because I made some, like, some videos and, like, talking about some of the items and that kind of stuff, and then things got changed. And so the video has, like, a snapshot of, like, some items that don't even exist in the same form. They're just, like, completely changed. Which is fine. It's just kind of awkward for everyone else, like get hyped up and then it's like, oh, I really wanted to play with that item and now it's not even, like, I'm never going to get to play with it because it's just completely out of the game. So, it's a little awkward. <clears throat> but you got other games? What other games are you playing? I think there was some kind of Steam sale recently. It was like a midweek sale. It had one of my games on my wish list on there, but I ended up not buying it. still been having a lot of fun doing this, so until I get tired of this. Do we explore at the very top? Yeah, we did. Okay. So we're good to go. Uh, Cook served delicious too. Still played Binding Isaac here and there. And various roguelikes. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I, I was thinking about getting Cook served delicious too. Was that the one? It was something along those lines. Let me see. Actually, I don't think it was that one, but it was something close to that. I think it was called Overcooked, actually. And I actually ended up buying it, but I haven't played it. Yeah, it's called Overcooked. Which I assume is the same kind of premise. Alright, anyway. Uh, new little trap. The only trap in Act 1 that you can't turn off. Yeah, um, I, I forgot what it was. You can't do, like, online co-op or something, because, like, my wife and I wanted to play it, but it didn't work out, because you can only do local co-op, and we didn't really want to do that. Local co-op's just awkward. Two people on the computer. One has to use the uh, keyboard, one has to use the controller. I don't know. Desk isn't really set up to have, like, two people back here. There's like a lot of like logistical stuff that's wrong with local co-op. I have a Steam Link, but I don't have a second controller, so it's like, I don't know. No like super good option. But we'll probably play it eventually. It's just kind of gone low on the, uh, the totem pole. There's another game we wanted to play. It was a uh, Swords of Ditto. It's like a roguelike, I believe. Ooh, I just cast Meteor outside of combo. My uh, my life flashed before my eyes. But Rogues of Ditto looked really good. 
Um, I just haven't actually touched it yet. Is another game we're gonna play together. But same thing, they only do local co-op where you have to download some like really awkward uh, third-party software to make it where you can play on LAN. So, haven't gone out of my way for that yet. Swords of Ditto you got on your wish list. Yeah, I can't like, I can't even say I like recommend it because I haven't played it, but it looks so good. Like watching the trailer, it looks really good. I know I'd like it if I started playing it, I just haven't started playing it. It just can't hit you with the guarantee, you know? I thought I was going to play some, uh, Path to Exile of this League, but I ended up just not doing that yet. I may just skip this League, play next League. Big fan of that game, just uh, haven't got back around to actually playing it. Alright, so this is probably like the hardest character to do this boss on. You just like have very low margin for error. I think we'll ultimately be fine. Uh, let's see. Crit is 47.2. 500 skill crit. So hopefully, I'm getting combo pretty easily. We're gonna uh, precast a meteor. Uh, that wasn't precast, but uh, okay. Uh, we need to not use our uh, our primary against them. We're just taking damage for uh, really no reason. I mean, luckily our damage is so high. Yeah, we instantly phased him, so we have bats to uh, get into combo and leech off of. Yeah, we do so much damage, I guess it doesn't matter. It's just uh, a little worry. Like, There's definitely a little bit to worry about. You have to respect everyone, even if uh, you know you're going to like do a lot of damage. Oh, is this a life stone? We had the chance to buy the mana stone, but we didn't. It's usually like never worth buying unless you get the other one. And then it's like really nice because you don't have to uh, go out of your way for gold. At least I haven't gotten to the point where I have to go out of my way for gold if I get that item. I'm sure as you get higher and higher, well, I'm positive as you get higher and higher, uh, two gold kill is not going to be enough to buy anything. But currently it's like really nice. We can just kind of speed run through the game when that happens. Alright, uh, there's our button. It's always nice to find it early. Yeah, we've got two chests on the radar. Hopefully they're not ore or diamond chest. That would be great. But we'll see what we get. Tricky beetles. Alright, we got our two-piece apothecary now. So, hopefully that means we really don't need potions is thrown at all. Where we get the four piece and we can actually use potions. Which happens a lot of runs actually. Alright, journeyman's. 15 health is actually a really big deal for us. When you only have 200 health, 15 is a lot. Hey, a secret. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go grab the secret before I go anywhere else. Alright, good. It's a dead end as well. So Nice, old map. So we got like all the quality of life already. Extra items from the shop. Um, you can see the map. I would say those are like the quality of life items. I guess Vendor's Coin kind of is. You can just pick up 25% less gold, but it's just like such a lower priority. It's not really worth like going out of your way for. 
I guess the impact isn't as big. Alright, let's see. I think after this run we'll probably play our Paladin. Let's see if we get another Paladin run down. As long as we complete this one successfully. Or when we complete this one successfully, right? Dagger. Yikes. That was a secret, but doesn't look like it is. Hey, Elite, what's up? Uh, things are going pretty well. Um, we're trying a new camera angle, and uh, we actually ordered a new camera, so it's in the mail. Should be here tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, like 8 p.m. or something. So, might not be able to set it up till like Sunday. And if the mic is still having issues, we'll probably be looking at ordering something. So, if I can get some feedback on that. Um, how are things in your world? I didn't even really check for combo before I hit that. Need to pay more attention to it. Maybe this guy will sell us a ring of transmutation. Make things just go slightly faster. Just got home, is that a small event? Okay. Is that magic related or? Something else. All right, we should have plenty of gold. Let's see what we got. All right, so no ring of transmutation. Stinger. Stinger and stiletto. The only thing that does any physical damage is our meteor, which it looks like it does plenty of damage currently. Uh, probably just work on getting these up. Yeah, let's just buy these set pieces. Get our armor, get our resist. Um, did we find... Yeah, we found the button, right? Alright, let's grab these diamonds. Tractor pulls. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever been to a tractor pull. I was a kid we went to some monster truck rallies. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, everybody likes different stuff. I want to do that. Yeah, I mean, there's. I think they still do like tons of them, right? Monster truck rallies. 
Grave Digger and all that. Or I think Grave Digger was retired by now, but that was like the big one growing up. Maybe it's still pretty big. Uh, I don't really know. All right, they upgraded this item. Well, one, they fixed it, so it actually works. And then two, it went from 15 physical damage to 25. So it's pretty significant. Um, why is Twitch pausing and starting like it's skipping? Oh, is that me? I wonder if that's me. 